In this video, we'll be creating a honeycomb pattern using Photoshop. Stick around until the end because I'll be sharing some valuable tips to help improve your Photoshop skills. Let's jump right in. First, create a new document. Set the width and height to 1080 pixels, the resolution to 300 pixels per inch, and the color mode to RGB. Then click Create. Next, activate the Polygon tool and hold the Shift key as you draw a hexagon on the canvas. Hold Shift again to rotate the hexagon until one corner is facing up. Give the hexagon a dark honey color. You can use the hex code 8EE4200. Now, let's adjust some settings for precise shape positioning. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. Then go to Show, check Smart Guides, and activate Layer Edges. With the Move tool active, hold Alt on a PC or Command on a Mac and drag the hexagon three times to create three copies. Use the Move tool to arrange the hexagons. Adjust the gaps between them to your preference, ensuring equal spacing. I recommend leaving some space so they're not too close together. To ensure the hexagons are aligned perfectly, pull guides from the rulers. If you don't see the rulers, go to View and check Rulers. Snap the guides, like in this example, to align the hexagons. Once the positions are set, hide the guides by pressing Ctrl-H. Rename each hexagon layer sequentially. Select all hexagon layers by clicking the top one, holding Shift, and selecting the bottom one. Then, group them by pressing the bin icon and name the group. Now, press Ctrl-J to duplicate the group and ungroup the duplicate by pressing Shift-Ctrl-G on PC or Shift-Command-G on Mac. With the hexagon copies still selected, right-click and choose Merge Shapes. Activate the Rectangular tool and create a shape that covers all the hexagons. In the Properties panel, temporarily set the rectangle to white. Deactivate all lower layers except the two shapes we've just made. Move the hexagon layer copy to the top, select both layers, and go to the Properties panel. If you don't see the Properties icon, go to Window and select Properties. With both layers still selected, click the Subtract Front Shape icon. Now, delete the white rectangle layer and reactivate the hexagon group. Select the top layer, click the FX icon, and add a color overlay. Set the hex code to FFD69C and the opacity to 100%. Click OK. Let's now work with the hexagon group. Open the group and select any hexagon layer. From the FX menu, choose Bevel Emboss. Set the following values. Style, Inner Emboss, Technique, Smooth, Depth, 100, Direction Up, Size, 70, 0, Angle, 90, Altitude, 70. Select Cone Inverted for the glass contour. Then click the icon to open the contour editor and adjust the curve to the middle like in this example. Click OK. Set the Highlight Mode to Linear Dodge White, Opacity to 100%, and the Shadow Mode to Color Dodge White with an Opacity of 75%. Next, apply Inner Glow with these settings. Blend Mode, Multiply. Opacity 100%, Noise 0%, Color 8EE4200. Technique Softer, Source Edge, Choke 3%, Size 67px. Contour Linear, Range 50%. Activate Satin and use these settings. Blend Mode Overlay, Color White, Angle 90 degrees, Distance 2px, Size 131px, Contour Cove Deep, Invert On. Copy these layer styles and paste them onto each hexagon layer.
Now let's make the cell wall more realistic. Select the cell wall layer and add bevel and emboss with these settings. Style, inner bevel. Technique, smooth. Depth, 200%. Size, 10px. Soften, 2px. Angle, 90 degrees. Altitude, 30 degrees. Glass contour, linear. Set the highlight mode to color dodge with the color white. For the shadow mode, use black. The opacity to around 30 to 40%. If you prefer a more intense darkening effect, you can switch the shadow mode to color burn. But be sure to adjust the opacity to suit your needs. Do the same for the highlight mode. Reduce the opacity to around 40% to prevent it from being too bright. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click OK. Now we'll cut the hexagons in half using the crop tool. First, activate the guides by pressing Ctrl H. Hold, Shift, and move the guides to the middle of the top, right, left, and bottom hexagons. Activate the crop tool and align the crop handles with the guides. Then press the check mark. You can hide the guides by pressing Ctrl H again. With the top layer selected, press Alt Ctrl Shift E or Option Command Shift E on Mac to create a composite layer. Name it whatever you like. With the composite layer selected, go to Edit and choose Define Pattern. Give your pattern a name and click OK. To test the pattern, create a new document. 1920 by 1080 pixels, for example. Click this icon and select Pattern. Then, select the Pattern Fill icon and choose the pattern you just created. You can scale or rotate it as needed. When you're satisfied, click OK. And there you have it, your very own honeycomb pattern in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button for more awesome tutorials. See you in the next one. Thank you.